Hey guys, it's your boy Scandia and today I'm going to be showing you how to create realistic facial hair. So, the first thing you want to do, as always, is press Ctrl and N to start a new project and make sure that the width and the height are the exact same as the picture that you're going to be using. So for mine it's 3500 by 2580 and then press OK. Then you want to drag and drop your picture, like so, and then rescale. press the enter or the check mark. The next thing you want to do is go to your brush tool. Now it's going to ask me to rasterize the image first. I'll press OK. And then create a new layer on top of that. So you want to be finding a hair on the face already and then try and copy it as best you can. So to change the size of the brush tool, just press the brackets below the plus and return key. Make sure as well that your hardness is set to 100 so the outlines aren't blurred. Let's go down a bit more. I reckon one more. And then that'll do. So now I've got that. Make a layer on top of that. And then draw a white box with the marquee tool. Right click inside the box, then fill, and make sure on the contents it's use white. Press OK. Then bring this layer up above, right click on your box and deselect. Then go back to your brush tool by clicking on this side or by pressing B and you want to draw your hair inside the box. Let's have a few attempts, try and make it look as natural as possible. I think I'm going to go with that. Next go back to your marquee tool and highlight over the hair but make sure that you stay inside the box. Then you want to go over to edit and define brush preset. I'm going to keep mine as sample brush 4, but you can rename it to whatever you want. Press OK. Now, you want to get rid of these two layers. So I'm just going to get rid of them. Like that. And then right click on the box and deselect. Then you want to make a new layer. Then you can begin to start painting. So as you can see, We've just got one single hair at the moment, so what we want to do is try to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, obviously, as you can see, just by looking at the beard here, they've got hairs going that way, hairs going on all different ways. So, to do that, what we do is we go into Window and then click Brush. Now, the presets that I use, I'm going to put up on the screen for you. So, if you do want to take a look at those, just press Pause, and then we'll get back into the tutorial. So once you've clicked window and clicked on brush, you want to check scattering. Make sure that both axes is checked and it's on 229%. The controls are off, the count is on 1 at the moment. That's just how many hairs are going to come out, so you can change that a little bit later on depending on what part of the face you're doing. The count jitter at 0% and the control off. Next, click brush tip shape and change the angle from the right hand side to the top up to 90 degrees. Make sure that spacing is checked and it's on 10% as well. The next one to go to is transfer, make sure that that's checked and highlighted and turn the controls off for both of those but make sure that the opacity jitter is at 100% and the flow jitter is at 0%. Next go back to your scattering and click both axes. Keep that on 229 the controls off and I've changed the count up to 7 on the second time and the count jitter on 0%. Then finally I went back to brush tip shape, checked spacing and increased that to 70% as well. Now the only other thing that I'm going to do is just go into shape dynamics again and flip the X jitter and the Y jitter as well just so you can see that the hairs are coming from different directions instead of all from the same one. 
So, then you can start painting onto the face. And the first thing I'm going to do is just take the brush size down just a little bit just to try and get it to sort of match, and then you can start to paint. Now just have a little bit of a play around with the settings to find what matches the beard perfectly. Obviously by pressing alt and left clicking you can get colours but to start off with I'd go with a black. Obviously I've got quite a bit of um, area to cover so I'd do a black base and then work your other colours on top of that and then when you zoom out it'll look really realistic. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit and then we'll zoom out when it's done. So once you've finished you're going to have something that looks like that. Now always remember just to press alt and left click to grab your colours. I mean I got a couple of white ones just to reflect what's going on down here. Changing the brush size as well remember with the brackets just below the plus and return key and it looks a lot more realistic when you see it at more of a true size. Now if you want to change things about just like I said go into window, go into brush, wherever it's gone, just mess me up, window and then brush and then change around with these three. They're your best three for drawing beards anyway. I hope you liked this video guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.